Welcome to iTech Tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how to draw the above Tang in C problem. I will be drawing the above Tang in C problem in a ratio of 1 ratio 2, meaning that the size of my drawing will be half the dimension given above. To draw the above Tang in C problem, the first step you are expected to take is to draw a horizontal line. I have already done this step. I drew a horizontal line of length 160 mm. The next thing I will do is to draw a vertical line. The vertical line should be at least 19 mm from the left end of the horizontal line. I will draw another vertical line. This vertical line should be 76 mm from the previous vertical line. Next, I will place my compass at the point where the first vertical line intersects the horizontal line, then I will cut an arc. The radius of the arc should be 73 mm. I will also place my compass on the point where the right vertical line intersects the horizontal line, then I will cut an arc. The radius of the arc should be 51 mm. The arc should intersect the previous one. I will draw lines from the point where vertical lines intersect the horizontal line to meet at the point where the arcs intersect. I will place my compass on the point where the left vertical line intersects the horizontal line, then I will produce an arc. Next, I will draw an arc by placing my compass on the point where the right vertical line intersects the horizontal line. The radius of the arc should be 25 mm. I will draw two circles, one with radius 8.75 mm and the other with radius 19 mm. The two circles should have a common center. The center of the circle should be the point where the left vertical line intersects the horizontal line. I will draw two circles again, one of radius 6.25 mm and the other 12.5 mm. The two circles should have a common center. The center of the circles should be on the point where the two arcs at the top intersect. I will draw a circle of radius 12.5 mm. Now I will draw two circles, one on the point where the arc of radius 42.5 mm intersects the horizontal line and the other on the point where the arc intersect the line inclined to the horizontal line. The radius of the circles should be 9 mm. I will draw two arcs joining the two circles this way. Now it is time to produce the tangential arc at the left side of the drawing. To do so, I will place my compass on the center of the bottom left circle, 
then I will cut an arc of radius equal to the radius of the bottom left big circle plus the radius of the tangential arc. That is 19 millimeters plus 38 millimeters which is equal to 57 millimeters. I will also place my compass on the center of the upper circles, then I will cut an arc of radius equal to the radius of the upper large circle plus the radius of the tangential arc. That is 12.5 mm plus 38 mm which is equal to 50.5 mm. I will now place my compass on the point of intersection of the two arcs, then I will produce the tangential arc using a radius of 38 millimeters. Meter. It is time to produce the lower tangential arc. To produce the lower tangential arc, I will place my compass on the center of the left circle, then I will cut an arc of radius equal to the radius of the tangential arc minus the radius of the bigger circle. That is 76 mm minus 19 mm which is equal to 57 mm. I will also place my compass on the center of the right circle, then I will cut an arc of radius equal to the radius of the tangential arc minus the radius of the right bigger circle. That is 76 mm minus 12.5, which is equal to 63.5 mm. Next, I will draw a line inclined to the horizontal line at 30 degrees and touching the upper circle. This step can be done using a 30 degree set square, where I will draw a line tangential to the bottom left arc and inclined to the horizontal line at 120 degrees. This step can be done using a protractor. Next, I will draw an arc of radius 12.5 mm. The arc should touch the horizontal line and the line inclined to the horizontal line at 30 degree. make bold the part of the drawing that are supposed to be bold. mention the drawing.
the above Tang and C problem has been drawn successfully. Thank you for watching this video.